When Israel left Egypt, the house of Jacob left a people of a strange tongue. Judah became his holy nation, Israel his dominion. The sea saw and fled, and Jordan turned backwards. The mountains danced like rams, hills like young sheep. What frightens you, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn backwards. You mountains, that you dance like rams, you hills like young sheep. From before the master who created the earth, from before the God of Jacob, who transforms the rock into a pond of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who redeemed us and redeemed our forefathers from Egypt and enabled us to reach this night that we may eat matzah and bitter herbs. Likewise, Lord, our God and the God of our forefathers, enable us to celebrate festivals and holidays in peace, joyous and happy in your service. There we will sing a new song to you for our redemption and for the deliverance of our souls. Blessed are you, Lord, who redeemed Israel. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! a Hebrew expression meaning save, which became an exclamation of praise. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. From a unity perspective, here's what the Palm Sunday experience represents. It is our conscious surrender to our own innate divinity. It reawakens our childlike faith. Initially, it stirs the entire consciousness, city in turmoil, and we sense there is something wonderful at work, but we do not yet quite understand the full implications. This depth charge of inner quickening intensifies and leads to the process of inner transformation and cleansing. Unity calls this purification process chemicalization. The power of spirit helps us rid ourselves of old tapes and negative programming obsolete beliefs and habits that are no longer serving our higher good. This purging, this chemicalization, prepares us to embrace that deeper, more authentic aspect of us called our Christ Self. It is truly a transforming experience one that readies us to make a grand entrance into the next level of our being, our Christhood.